Hey folks, this is Bradley of God's Country Hunting and Fishing. I am back down here in the backwater of the Washita River. It's May the 5th and we got two nets left out. And uh, I'm gonna do a little short net run video. Everybody liked the first one pretty good and uh, had a few people shooting me messages wanting some details on how we set our nets up. So I'm gonna try to video a little bit better on pulling these nets up and uh, we'll see how many catfish we got. I got uh, got Big Larry up here in the front of the boat with me today, helping me, and uh, we made a little pit stop just a second ago. I'm gonna show you what we got. Show y'all what we got going on right here. We got Big Larry up there in the front of the boat. He can... Got this mayhaw tree. We're just gonna get these mayhaws. Scoop them up. See up there, he got Big Larry up there, and look at there what he's got. That red money. That's one of the benefits of uh, running these nets early May in the Washita River. That's May hauls, and that's gonna make some fine jelly. Just for reference, how we fishing this net right here? Larry's untying the the head end, the open end, and uh, that's up current right there, and our net is tied right up there on that upper treetop and the rope comes back down and the net's right in here under that limb right there we're gonna pull it up right there and this net is not anchored it's tied about 40 foot up from the tail end of the net 50 foot maybe of rope so this net's fishing about 15 foot below the surface of the water right there 15 20 foot down and about 30 foot of water it's just fishing about halfway between top and bottom Hey, hand me that bucket and all up there. How you weigh? That little dip net and all that stuff. Got a buff, couple buffalo, couple buffalo, couple catfish. That'll work. About all we want to dress. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Just for reference, this net was tied just under the surface, right here on this tree here, and it just run right back there under that tree limb. We've been tearing the fish up here. This was a bad catch. We just had two flatheads and one buffalo is all we had today, but we got plenty of fish already in the freezer, and a lot of it come out of this set right here. I had some heavy currents, so I had to add some weight to my drag. That's my drag right there. You can see it. Got my hooks on it. This net's about 30, 35 feet deep. So we're going uh, to add a window weight just to get the drag to stay down on bottom.
soon as you can. As soon as you can get to that road. Go to the other side of the boat, Larry. Hang on. Don't try to let that in down. Just go back down with that. Pull this in. Yeah, yeah. We gotta pull it out from under that tree. Or it'll hang up. All right, I'm fixing to hang on. Let me turn you out. Don't pull up yet. Go to pulling it Good catfish in there. Got it. Yep. That'll settle down a minute. That's a good cat right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you that one. I don't, I don't lose him. Turn him, turn him toward me. Just flip that lid over. Just I leave. Him in there. I was just, gonna show you. just leave that. Hold him up here. Let me see. I'm about the bottom jaw. There you go. Both hands right there and show them right here. Get a snap of it. Think about that. About a 35 pounder. Good catfish. It's enough for supper. You can see here we got a we got a 48 inch net it's four foot across the mouth of it two and a half inch mesh number 18 twine and uh one of the ways that we was fishing these nets was uh about midway of the water column some people call it on top but we were not fishing this net on bottom this net was tied just like this at about 40 foot of rope and where we were fishing it is directly above the original pool stage line so when water's high in the springtime uh, normally that would be uh, pool stage and 
and it was 15, 20 foot above that. Uh, at times it was about 30 foot and we were fishing out just a little bit further. Uh, what would normally be about seven or eight foot of water. So, you know, with 15, 20 foot of water, we had this net in about 30 foot of water fishing it about 10 to 15 feet below the surface. So we we're 15, 20 foot above off the bottom with this net. We just tied that upper end to a limb right under the edge of the water where we could get back to it if we needed to. And dropped us 40, 50 foot of rope. This net would have set just like this in the current. Current would have opened it up with a bridle here and uh, another 40, 50 foot of rope. And what I always do is once I drop this once I drop this net in and the current pulls it up, you could see us a lot of times going over and untying this end of the rope in the videos from a limb. So what I would always do is just pull a little bit of slack back up and come over to the side somewhere and just tie it to a limb over here to the side of, of where this net was actually sitting. Because the current's going to hold it open for you. And that's it on the, on the midwater column. Now, the other way we were fishing is with the anchor on bottom and this net that we were fishing probably is one of my favorite size nets to fish it is a three and a half foot net 42 inches across the mouth two and two and a half inch mesh nets uh, these nets are what I really like to catch flatheads in 50 60 foot of rope sometimes 75 depending on how deep it is you can see here we added a little piece in here because we were having trouble keeping this net, uh, the anchor in place. And if you have trouble keeping your anchor in place, add your 10, 15 foot of rope and that'll help that anchor hang. But I'm gonna show you what we got right here. You can see our anchor up here. And uh, people worry about their losing their nets in current. This is how you keep from that happening. I've been doing this probably 20, 25 years now and I've had one net I think stolen and I don't think I've ever had one washed down the river at all. I do make sure they hang real good but this is just a piece of rebar, make a loop, something, anything. One inch pipe, about two and a half, three foot of that and how we build these is inch and a half or two inch flat strap, just flat bar and you'll weld it in a cross section on the end of the pipe. Weld the two together. You can see right here. You can see right here where I welded them together. And just a cross section, laid it flat on the ground, welded this pipe in, and then bend these on a 45 while it's still hot. Add a chunk of any kind of scrap iron. That was just some scrap angle I had around the house. Uh, just for some extra weight and that'll help it hang and cut cut these off on a 45 and that'll dig in and stick for you and once that's once that's hung it's gonna be on bottom like that right there and depending on how deep of water you're fishing in uh, we may have a net in 10 foot of water certain times a year we may have a Net in 35, 40 foot of water. Just depends on where the fish are running. Uh, again, a bridle on the front, on the head of the net. This is the head. 50 or so foot of rope, enough to be comfortable to drag it up. Uh, if you're in a place where you don't have a lot of thieves, you might get away with putting jugs on this end. Makes it easy to raise if you can put jugs. But uh, I don't do that a lot because we have some thieves in our area. And uh, I just always pull this down tight and drop it in like that right there. And if you'll use polypropylene rope up here on a section of this, this polypropylene floats. And it'll be up off the bottom like this and it'll make your dragging a whole lot easier. Some people will tie a little float in here on this headline and makes it easier to drag up. I've done that before in swift current and makes it a lot easier.
but uh when i drop this in i just always make me a middle note out here to the side where a tree is and that's where i'll drag when i come back one of the most important things to have when you're net fishing is a good drag now this is a piece of inch and a half two inch uh stainless shaft and uh quarter inch stainless rod welded on and just bent these aren't very long but you can see right here it'll catch that rope that we're using and that's all you need if you make these too long uh originally when i first started fishing i had them long and they all hang up in everything these like this will come unhung pretty easy in treetops and stuff hey i'm gonna show y'all real quick how we dress these ops i use electric fillet knife a little different than a lot of people do just like a wood of bass or anything else. Once I get that like that, get my side cut off, then I can take that belly meat out, and take the ribs out. Just like that, that's all it is to it. All right, that's what we had today in just two nets. It's a pretty good catch for two nets, not bad. About all the fish I wanted to dress. We had one about 35 pounds here. Had a few flatheads, one buffalo. I'll take care of him. God's country, hunting and fishing, keeping it real.